haunts her dreams, like a father to her, a man with a scar. He hides himself, even from me. This one has a greater destiny, beyond Dunwall, beyond Karnaka. And what greater destiny is there than the killing the outsider? Okay, what's up guys? I'm back to do a follow-up video to my last video where I talked about the new standalone game from Dishonored, The Death of the Outsider. Well, it turned out if I would have just waited a couple of days, most of my questions and speculations would have been answered by Dishonored's co-creative director, Harvey Smith. He's been doing the rounds at E3, doing interviews uh, to promote the game. Uh, just talking about the game in general. So I thought I'd do a follow-up video highlighting uh, what he has talked about, uh, some of the things he's confirmed, some of the new information he has revealed, and uh, starting with an interview he just did with IGN. He confirmed what I talked about in my other video that Billy uh, slash Megan will be the only protagonist. She'll be the only playable character. You won't be able to play as Dowd. So here's the video from that. So Dishonored 2 had two playable protagonists. Is Billy the only one here? Yeah, people ask about that after last night. We had the Bethesda showcase last night. It was tons of fun. It was like a carnival. And uh, we showed the, the trailer for the first time. But Doubt is a character in the world. He yeah. is not the protagonist. Billy Lurk. It's all Billy Lurk. Okay. Okay, so number two is something I meant to mention in my last video, but I, I forgot. Uh, in the trailer, you can see Billy using a blink-like ability. Uh, but she's able to teleport through a wall with it. So here in the next video, Harvey explains this new power. Well, let's talk about her skill set. So yeah. we saw a little bit of her powers. Um, actually, almost we're up to the bit that I am about to address because she's got a blink type power, but it seems like she can move through walls, yeah. which uh, is a little different to the blink that we know and love. Well, again, hats off to the team in Lyon who really worked and worked on all of her powers and gadgets. Um, and they took them far beyond the initial description, the initial prototypes. Uh, we're very happy with the way they play. It is interesting strategically. These games are stealth games or high-end combat games, but of course you can approach everything many different ways. And so Billy's main mobility power is called Displace. Right. And if you read the comics, uh, there's, a, there's a hint that what happens in Dishonored 2 does something around her in time, like she both is uh, one, in one state and in another state at the same time, which causes kind of a distortion around her. And so Displace is a power where she can imagine being where she's at now or somewhere else and then choose to go there. So what that means as a player is that you leave a marker in the world and then you can go about your business, do whatever you want, and at any point switch with that marker. That's cool. And so that's what she's actually doing there. She's placed a marker in the hallway. She's waiting for the guy to turn around and then she displaces to that location. Okay, so the third thing Harvey reveals is that Billy is not marked by the Outsider. She's actually powered up by these ancient relics that she has to collect. Uh, I know in the trailer she already has them, but in the interviews Harvey explains that there's missions in the game where she has to collect them. Uh, the relics include her arm, her eye, and the knife that she's holding in the picture. And I talked about the knife in my last video, and I'm going to go back to it after this. Uh, so here's the interview with IGN where he explains the, the relics. So does she have a whole new power set? Uh, yeah, uh, she has, she's not marked by the outsider. That was something right. that we wanted to do. She has a couple of artifacts. Um, she has a thing in her eye called the Eye of the Dead God. She has a, a Void-esque arm. It, it, it's made of pieces of the Void. Uh, she, and she has her own powers. Uh, she has semblance, displace, you know, a few things like that. Okay, in another interview with PlayStation, Harvey explains the eye artifact in more detail. And he talks about a rat talisman Billy owns. Like we hint that in the past there were other godlike figures that would emerge and then be destroyed or eventually fall apart or whatever. In fact, Billy has a thing in her eye that leads to one of her powers called Foresight. I don't think we've talked about that yet. She has a, a, a unique power called Foresight. And it's uh, because she has a, the red glowing thing in her eye is called the Sliver of the Eye. And it's from a giant chunk of a... Uh, 
a piece of the original, uh, of the god that came before the outsider. Oh, interesting. The Eye of the Dead God, people call it. And it's part of the, the fiction of the, of the death of the outsider. Uh, so she has a sliver of that in her eye, and it gives her the power of foresight. Um, uh, Billy Lurk carries a, a talisman uh, called Rat Whispers that allows her, given to her by her childhood friend Deirdre, It's a part of her back fiction, uh, was killed by the brother of the Duke of Sarkonos, if you want to get really nerdy and into the lore details. And I anyway, do. <laughs> yeah. The Billy carries uh, this talisman called Rat Whispers that allows her to, to listen to swarms of rats or individual rats and get secrets about what they've seen. Uh, often it's just details like a rat might see translated into something she can hear. But sometimes it's very useful about what's going on in the world. And so, uh, you know. All right, fourth thing uh, I said I'd get back to uh, was the knife. I speculated in my last video that the knife that Billy's holding on the cover and the one that she uses in the trailer was the same one used to kill, his, kill the outsider over 4,000 years ago. Uh, here in the interview, uh, Harvey confirms that. She has the knife that was originally used to sacrifice the outsider. Um, and she has her own powers. Uh, she has semblance, displace, you know, a few things like that. Finds yeah. this, uh, it's one of the missions in the game, one of the better missions in the game our level designers put together. Uh, where she goes after an ancient artifact that was used to sacrifice the outsider. And once she has it, she kind of like deconstructs it and reconstructs it as she needs to. That's what you see in the video. Okay, so the fifth and last reveal by Harvey. Uh, in his interviews at E3 was that you do not have to kill the outsider like all previous games uh, you'll be able to spare him at the end if you choose to uh, he does not reveal what the canon ending will be though meaning uh, will the outsider be alive or dead in the next game uh, no matter what the player chooses um, the creators have to decide what canon is so just like you got to choose between killing Dale or not killing Dale it didn't matter. He's going to still be alive in the next game just for uh, story purposes. But uh, here's Harvey explaining or reassuring everyone that you can spare the Outsider. And uh, yeah, so Dishonored Death of the Outsider? Yes, that's the name. Did you, were you aware that the Dishonored fandom has already decided the Outsider is their boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, I'm aware that many people uh, claim that. Uh, yeah. Like honestly, uh, there was a whale from behind me yeah, when our, that was announced. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, it is still possible to play the entire game without killing anyone, mm -hmm. uh, including your uh, Eldritch uh, boyfriend. Uh, for anybody wondering, here's the definition of Eldritch. It's a new word for me. So as you can see, he is talking about the outsider. Uh, so here's another interview with PlayStation where he reconfirms that you can spare the outsider. Yeah, I mean, once again, it's a, it's a tenet of the game, like like you said. You can either play super stealthy, merciful, as we say, and not hurt or fight anyone, or you can go completely wild and uh, conclude that everyone, uh, no one is innocent, and uh, take your enemies down in all kinds of brutal ways. That said, even with the critical assassination targets, we always provide an alternate non-lethal solution. Um, so you can expect, without going into spoilers, you can expect some tricky inter intricacies in how you can deal with the outsider. Sure. So a sixth and kind of bonus reveal from Harvey. Uh, with his interview with IGN, he was kind of tight-lipped on the motivations why Dowd and why Billy want to kill the outsider. But with his interview with PlayStation, he kind of uh, went more into detail. And it was just like I speculated in my last video. Uh, it seems they were kind of, you know, not happy with him for how they used him to kill the queen. They didn't like being used as pawns in his little games. And they, they feel like he, when he gets involved with human affairs, he, he just seems to uh, make things worse. So they're going to team up and uh, find some more meaning in their life and uh, make up for the sins of their past and uh, take them out once and for all. So here's Harvey with uh, PlayStation explaining it a little bit better. Uh, and she seems like a lost character. In, Dis in Dishonored Death of the Outsider, she's really found her footing. She has purpose again. Uh, she and Dowd conceived this plan to kill this godlike figure that they see as responsible for so much misery in the world. Uh, but he's an interesting figure, and Dowd and Billy conclude that much of the, the havoc that is wreaked in the world 
comes about because of the power that the outsider offers people. So they decide to give their lives meaning and to make up for the bad things they've done. They decide to try to take him out, which seems like an impossible task. Like, how do you kill a god? Right. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Um, they were the big reveals that I thought were the most interesting from Harvey Smith in his interviews at E3. So we learned Billy will be the only playable character. He won't be able to play as Dal, which I kind of find it uh, disappointing. Um, we found out that she does get her powers from relics, not from the outsider. So she has the arm, the eye, and the knife, which was confirmed to be the same knife that killed the outsider over 4,000 years ago. Um, she has a new blink power, which has the ability to go through walls, which is new. And we found out you will be able to spare the outsider, which I'm sure a lot of fans will be happy. And then the bonus, we found out that the motivations behind Dowd and Billy for wanting to kill the outsider. I was going to add another one, but I think I might do another separate video on that. I talked about it in my previous video, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this one. If you guys missed it, you can check it out. But uh, that's it for now. If uh, any more information comes out, I'll, I'll try to make a video. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.